Hi everyone, this is a podcast for the architecture of the Catholic Church. Part of what you need to know for this unit is the power of the Catholic Church and how that can be seen in the style of buildings that they had built for the Catholic Church. For the podcast, you need to watch it, pay attention to the different styles of architecture, and then after the podcast is over, you need to complete the Google form. The first style of architecture that is featured in this podcast have rounded arches. Now these rounded arches were called barrel vaults. Now with the rounded arches, it meant that the posts that they were on um, needed extra support. Now this extra support meant that the walls on the sides of the barrel vault was very thick. This style of architecture was called Romanesque, uh, which means Roman-like. The Romans, and you should have studied them in sixth grade, tended to put domes or rounded arches on their buildings. So the barrel vault that you see um, is a legacy from the Roman Empire. The buttresses on both sides of the arch, like I mentioned, is what was used to uh, stabilize the walls so that the arches uh, wouldn't fall in onto the people. Now, the Romanic style of churches, you can see um, the light on the outside doesn't really penetrate on the inside. So the Romanist churches tended to be dark inside. The, they had really small windows that were located more or less towards the top of the ceiling itself because the walls itself were too thick. And the reason for the thick walls, as I mentioned previously, was because they had the buttresses on the side to help keep the arches uh, from collapsing in on each other. The next style of architecture, as you can see, has a different style of arch. It's pointed up at the top. Now, because of the pointed arch, um, they, the stability of the walls was a little bit easier and you guys you know I don't know about science so I can't explain all that stuff but they did have the buttresses off to the side now this is different than the Romanesque because you can see that they're separate from the actual wall that's connected to the pointed arch this style of architecture is called Gothic so the Gothic style of architecture was known for their pointed arch and then they're flying buttresses now they're called flying because there's space underneath it so you can literally walk underneath it like an eave Another feature of the Gothic church were the stained glass windows. Now, as you remember, uh, most people during the Middle Ages did not know how to read or write, so the artisans of the day in Europe would create these windows of little colored pieces of glass that depicted Bible stories, and that was the way that the people could follow along with what the priests were saying. Now, the Gothic churches were known for their high ceilings, they're very thin walls because they had the flying buttresses off to the side that could help hold up the arches. And because the beautiful stained glass windows and the high ceilings, the Gothic churches tended to be lighter inside as opposed to the Romanesque churches. Your next task is to complete the Google form. Now in the Google form, you'll be looking at different pictures of both Gothic and Romanesque style architecture, and you're gonna have to tell me which one is which. Good luck.